such amazing characters, such conviction and um, that you portray in them. What research, if any, did you tap into to portray these roles? I was looking to talk to, you know, I grew up with parents who were actually freedom fighters, and so it was really um, not that far-fetched for me, but I wanted to do more research. I was looking for Elaine Brown. I was trying to find her phone number. I was, you know, <laughs> trying to just look at women who were like this, who were strong and who were active because there was a lot of sexism in the civil rights movement. Mm. But Carol, you know, you don't see that in their relationship. She's kind of the boss. So, um, yeah, it was it was part research and, and but you know, a lot of just creating our own characters and uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for me, obviously I'm not from this country, so I couldn't take it for granted at all that I knew any of the history. So, you know, it involved a lot of reading, a lot of, thankfully there's a, a bunch of documentaries, uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, and a, you know, this is recent history, you know, there are a lot of people still alive, millions of people mm -hmm. still alive who, who experienced, who were, bought, who were uh, you know, around at this time, and so you know, there, there was there was plenty to draw on by way of research. And so I'm curious, what was most inspiring to you about the story about this man that is based on? Hmm. Gosh, uh, um, uh, the the fact that he through it was actually eight presidents that he mm. was in the White House for, and um, just the fact of the change that he, you know. It, it, he is almost the window through which we can look at this unbelievable time in this country's history. And, and just to, to think, you know, when people often say that phrase, oh, to be a fly on the wall, he literally was yeah. a fly on the wall at, at arguably the time of the biggest amount of change in this country's history. So I'm just... Fa I'm, I would be fascinated to have been there with him, mm. but it's amazing that you know this film depicts some of what he may well have seen. I think the beautiful thing about Cecil Gaines' character too is that his evolution mm. proves that that old adage, you can you know you it, well actually it contradicts it. <laughs> you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Is that you know it's never too late mm. for someone to wake up. And he does, and he says, oh, wow, mm -hmm. they're writing books about what my son has been doing. This is actually not that, what I thought it was. And, mm -hmm. and, and he you know, shows up and, and joins him in, in the struggle in his own way. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful to see someone, even in their older age, still be able to grow. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And of course, I have to ask you, what was it like being a part of this cast, working with this cast, having Forrest Whitaker and Oprah Winfrey as mm -hmm. your parents? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was okay, you know, <laughs> another day at the office. No, it was incredible. <laughs> I mean, between the script and the cast and the sweep of history, I mean, for me, to go from the age of 17 to 68, I mean, where, where do you mm. go to, to play that kind of sweep? Yeah. Um, and, I, you know, we had so much fun together building our characters, but it was also incredibly cathartic. I mean, mm. you know, experiencing being hosed down, being in the sit-ins, being on the Freedom Bus, becoming Black Panthers. I mean, it was such a journey that I, I defy any actor to, to kind of say, you know, that, that that isn't something beyond which you are changed, you mm. know, and, and I definitely felt that beyond this experience. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, and then Lee Daniels, what was it like working with this man? He is passionate. Mm. That is the word. Mm. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I was challenged in a way that I hadn't been before just because every director communicates to their actors differently. And you know, once you kind of get um, used to that, then you, you know, amazing things happen on set. And he facilitates that in a really beautiful way. Yeah, he's a complete one-off. I mean, I, I, I don't, I, and I mean that in the best sense yeah. uh, of of he will challenge you towards the truth on every take. I mean, literally, you turn up on set, and the first thing he does is that, like that, just looking for every. Di yeah, that's every, how he was every with me. Eyelash, he was like, everything. Makeup? What did you put on her? Nothing. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. Literally, <laughs> try playing seventeen with no makeup. It was just like. I was like, help me out here. I'm a grown man. You know, it was like, no makeup. We can't have any makeup. It's got to be the truth. So, you know, but, but that's what challenges you towards 
going deeper than you otherwise would. He takes away all your tricks, all your props, all your makeup, you know, everything. And, uh, and it, it, does, it does elicit a, a, a deeper performance than you even know, knew was in there. You guys did an amazing job. 